I think it's very important to understand clearly how these drugs actually do work so that we can manage the clinical responses that we see as well as to try and improve upon them uh, by combining it with different agents or how we temporally place it in the context of other agents. And what I was trying to discuss today was the fact that although these agents are very effective in inhibiting what's called B cell receptor signaling, uh, they do more than that. They actually inhibit the ability of these leukemic cells to migrate uh, and go to the sites which they need to go to in order to survive. These are the lymph nodes and the spleen. Uh, so what actually happens is that the leukemic cells empty out from the lymphoid compartments and the white cell count can rise quite substantially. It's that activity, the ability to deprive the leukemia cell from getting back into the lymphoid tissue that may be the greatest uh, uh, cause for why these drugs function in the way they do. Namely, within the lymphoid tissue, there are other cells and other factors which really sustain the leukemic cell and they keep it uh, alive and they also allow it to grow.